I am Lady Aska and today we want to talk about making things flopping around. One of the requests I got was how to make the animal ears a bit floppier. And in the end I found a way to make nearly everything floppy with this method. So let's go. We start in Vroid and create a pair of ear accessories for our avatar. With this feature it's so much easier than it was before when using the hair method. But as our Vroid veterans may know, the ears made out of hair were always a little bit more active and less stiff than the accessory ones. Today we want to change that. Upon export we deactivate the delete transparent meshes and more importantly the combine hair mesh option, so our avatar is prepared for Unity. That's where we are heading next. We create a new project with the Unity version 2021. 2.17 f1 and I think it would be a good moment to mention here that if you wanted to use certain shaders different from the standard entrance shader or animations later that this version doesn't work with the current SDK plugin as of time of recording. So if you wanted to further enhance your model you would have to make some modifications here in this version, export and then use the SDK friendly version 2019.4.31 f1 further. Once Unity is fully loaded, we import our UniVM plugin and the version I used here is version 0.106.0. We go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package and select the correct version. After all of this is done, we create a little folder, drag our .vm file into this folder and wait till our avatars preview is fully loaded before dragging it to the left into the hierarchy. All we have to do now is activating play mode. Switch back to scene and select secondary from the left hierarchy. On the right in the inspector we can now see all the bones and their properties. Since the ear accessories have their own bones by default we will also find them here if we scroll down the list. For me they are named cat ears. Here we now have similar options to what we usually have in the hair bone menu in Vroid Studio. All that is interesting for us, for this specific pair of ears, is the stiffness force. With this we can influence how bouncy the ears are. By default they are set to 1.5. To test the stiffness we go to the head, in the left hierarchy, under hips, spine, chest, upper chest, neck and move it around a bit with the rotation tool. You can see the standard bounce here. When I set it to 1 now, you will probably not see that much of a difference, so let's put it to 0. At which point our ears just become a puddle, so don't do that, as it takes any stiffness out of them. We go now for the golden middle of 0.5, test the bounciness, and if we are happy, we would leave the play mode by pressing the play button again. And don't forget that leaving play mode will reset all of your values. So you have to type in the 0.5 again under secondary and cat ears. Now we can export over the VRM menu. As a little reminder you have to set a version if your avatar hasn't one already before you can do that. Enjoy your floppy ears and remember that this stiffness option can affect anything under the secondary category. So feel free to experiment and have fun. Subscribe and like this video for more tips and tricks in the future. I see you all on the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day.